What's good, everybody? It is your boy Cab back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys today. We are here to talk about and discuss the potential of DLC 15 being the last DLC before we actually see the potential of Xenoverse 3 at the same time. Now, let me just start out by saying this this is all speculation and predictions. Nothing in this video is confirmed by any means. This is just stuff that I've really thought about and why I think DLC 15 can be the last one again before we see that Xenoverse 3, which for anybody who's saying that game is not gonna happen, you're just crazy to think that Xenoverse 3 won't happen at some point in time. Again, the Xenoverse series is the best-selling Dragon Ball gaming series of all time. It would just be stupid to stop at number two when that potential for three is right there. And then you also look at some of the other things like the Dragon Ball Xenoverse 3 website, how that has been around and been a thing for so long, literally when the Xenoverse 2 website domain was made, the Xenoverse 3 website domain was made on the very same day. So clearly they had some kind of plans for a Xenoverse 3. Now, before we actually get into this, one thing I do want to mention really quickly in regards to yesterday's video, a lot of you guys out there were saying you had some worries about like the Goku Day tournament event, how you're going to most likely see some modders or things along those lines. I will say I've played for about an hour, hour and a half. And as you can see with this screenshot right here at the time of me recording this, I am ranked number 35 and I've just had an absolute great time. Like, I'm not going to lie to you guys. The netcode hasn't been too bad on top of the fact that I have not ran into one single modder at all in this whole tournament up until this point in time. I've just had a lot of really fun and good matches and I'll probably do some live matches in this video at the end after we talk about why I believe DLC 15 most likely can be the last DLC for Xenoverse 2. Now, with that being said, let's talk about why I do feel DLC 15 may be the last one. And honestly, guys, the main reasoning behind this is the Dragon Ball Super anime. Now, no, the Dragon Ball Super anime has not been confirmed to return and on a certain date or anything like that. We do know at some point in time it will come back. I'm assuming that they've just really been waiting to finish up the Granola arc so they can have two arcs that they are behind from on the manga so they don't catch up and have a similar situation to like Boruto or something like that. Now, I'm not hating on Boruto by any means. I'm actually really really enjoying the manga and did watch the anime for a good amount of time The only thing is with the anime there is a lot of filler in that anime I would say out of like the 200 plus episodes probably a hundred to 125 of those are actually filler episodes that are not involved in the manga and are not canon in any way shape or form so i'm assuming that toei and funimation does not want to have a similar situation like boruto does and just will have pretty much until they either decide to put a halt to the anime for a while and let the manga get ahead or really that's the only decision they have it's either keep going with a bunch of filler or just wait for a bit similar to what dragon ball super is doing so again Right now, where the Granola arc is, I would assume that it'll probably be done, maybe by like the end of the year, somewhere around there, and that's actually the time that DLC 15 is going to be releasing. We're going to be seeing DLC 15 somewhere around the end of this year, or in the beginning of 2023. Now, I'm assuming it's going to be in like December, somewhere around there, because usually we do get a DLC for Xenoverse 2 around that time. If you think about it, it is smart marketing, because that is around Christmas time, so a lot more kids can be able to get that from their parents as a gift gift or just get some gift cards in general for PSN, Xbox, or Switch, whatever you're playing on, to where you can actually purchase this DLC. So I'm assuming DLC 15 will be around the end of this year as well, like I said, and I think that the uh, Granola arc will be ending around there, which would most likely mean we'll probably be seeing the Dragon Ball Super anime return sometime in like early 2023 or mid 2023, which I do believe is what they are waiting for till Xenoverse 3 actually comes out. Because if you look at the beginning of Xenoverse 2, Xenoverse 2, the first four DLCs and the first season of DLC was all Dragon Ball Super related. Like, look at DLC 1. It was all Universal Tournament. DLC 2, again, was Universal Tournament arc. You had Champa Vados in DLC 2. You had Kaba and Frost in DLC 1. Then DLC 3 was the Goku Black arc. And DLC 4 was also the Goku Black arc. So the whole first season of DLC on Xenoverse 2 
was based around Dragon Ball Super. And I'm assuming they're probably planning on doing a similar thing with Xenoverse 3 if and when that actually does happen. But like I said, I do really believe that it will without a doubt at some point in time. It is just a matter of time. And I truly do feel that they're waiting for the anime because if they did something similar with Xenoverse 3 as to what they did with Xenoverse 2, it actually kind of works out perfectly if you think about it. Because then the first two DLCs could be based off the moral arc, which does have a decent amount of characters in it. I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody who has not read them long or anything like that but the moral arc does have a decent amount of characters where they could easily make two dlc packs out of it and then the next two dlcs could be based off of the granola arc which is another dlc where i do think they definitely can make two dlc's worth of content out of all the different characters and new versions of characters that have been added in this arc that is ongoing right now in dragon ball super so i do believe that is what they are most likely waiting for and again dlc 15 kind of falls in line with where i think the granola arc will be ending because if it does end by sometime around like the end of this year or fall of this year that would be like five or six more chapters which it very possibly could end by that point in time so again i do think guys that dlc 15 has a very good potential of being the final dlc that we actually see on xenoverse 2 and then also if you look at some of the dlcs that we've been getting we have been getting a lot of characters that kind of like fill in gaps of the roster like for example the last dlc alone was a bunch of characters that were you could say were missing in a sense from the roster i mean we didn't have a base gogeta of dragon ball super we didn't have a full power version of jiren we had kefla in the game but we didn't have kale and khalifa and then if you look at this dlc i'm pretty sure they implemented ultra instinct omen goku as a vote character because they knew people would vote for it and it is a character that again feels like roster gaps it's a version of goku that was not in the game and would more complete the roster of like a xenoverse 3 when it actually does release because all dlc characters that are in xenoverse 2 will be on the base roster of xenoverse 3 if and when it does happen it was the same thing for xenoverse 1 all the dlc characters in that game that were dlc were on the base roster for xenoverse 2 so with all those things man i do feel like dlc 15 potentially could be the last one and that's not even talking about the whole few story that's been going on it seems like it's really setting up something bigger without a doubt with what has happened in the last couple dlc story wise so i think that they are just doing a lot of stuff that is going to be setting up a xenoverse 3 and it's why i do believe dlc 15 could potentially be the last one without a doubt and i'm hopeful that it is the last one because i don't it's not like i don't love xenoverse 2 obviously i've been making content on the game for like five years but at the same time i would definitely love a xenoverse 3 that much more without a doubt now with all this being said let me know you guys thoughts on this down below in the comments what we're gonna do right now is go on and do some live tournament matches from this goku day event tournament get some more points and try and get that top five obviously you're not gonna see all those matches in this video we're just gonna do a couple here but i am going for that top five to get that dragon ball super title so with that being said you know when we go online we always and i mean always go in strong so let's get it all right, my boys, here we go with the couple matches, and I am using Blue Cool in this tournament because I am actually trying to get a top five. If I was just playing for fun or something like that, I would probably be using Super Saiyan God or Super Saiyan, probably be using Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan 4 to be, oh, whoa, my man's, okay, this connection is a little bit booty. That's never a good sign. Come here, my boy. But again, if I was just trying to have fun, I would be using one of those two characters or both of those characters just like back and forth, something along those lines. But again, since I am trying to get to top five, I am going to use the better version of Goku or what I believe to be the best version in this tournament. Yes, a lot of people may say UI, but I don't like really using UI. I just never really liked the, the concept of the character within this game, the whole dodging and, and all that. Just just never was something that like stuck with me, I guess you could say. Come here, my boy. Take this burst. Let me get my combo extension. I ran right into that like a dummy. Respect the man's Astro Wolf, though, for using GT Goku. This is a Goku that I, I don't think I've seen up until this point in time in this whole tournament. No, did I have my key cancel or my... Well, it was a cancel that should have... Oh, no! That's not good. Gave this man's life. Oh, come on. That's like the third time that's happened. Missed that. All right, one more hit and this man is out of here. Oh, come on with these clashes. I just need to hit him one time. We, we just go media crap. Oh, he didn't move. Did y'all see that? Did y'all see my man's literally just stay there? He just ate that with his face. Hello? 
All right, with that being said, let's move on to the next match because we need to rack up this QP. And again, we're trying to go for that top five. All right, y'all, match number two. Let's get these points and get this ass whooping underway. Oh, I literally pressed square to punch the man and it didn't come out. That's interesting. Come here. Where, where are you back hitting, my guy? Where are you throwing them key shits at, Mike? Oh, oh, oh you, you gonna god fist me like that? That's disrespectful. Oh, I didn't need to van. Oh, my God, this corner. I hate, I hate this part of, like, maps. I, like, I literally hate when that happens. Okay, okay, you're gonna use god fist to cover yourself up. I understand. I understand. Once again... Oh, bro, these corners! Like, man, has gotten multiple hits off me for no reason. Wait, are you trying to break yourself? Come here. Where you going, bitch? Had enough. I, I've had enough of the nonsense that's been going on with this match right here, so I'm just gonna whoop your ass. I'm sorry. He keeps, he keeps doing that. And I keep getting hit by it. I vanished through him, game! Alright, alright. Basically just need to get one hit off. Of, of course he's going to try with that god fit. Mm, the things I'm getting hit by in this match, right? The things I'm getting hit by in this match. Right when he had enough key for, for that, he did it. What, what, what? He had enough stamina? Hello? And these clashes just keep giving him key so he could god fist. See, I knew he was going to do that. Literally knew he was going to do that. Watch, god fist. Not going to give you the chance to god fist, bitch. Now eat this burst comment my heart and say goodbye, my boy. The, the things that I got hit by in that match, it was just, it's just frustrating. Like, I, first of all, the corner nonsense. Like, I hate when you get on a map and you're like, you're at the edge of it and you can't really see what's going on. Like, they, like that's something they should have fixed early on in the game. Just saying. But still, at least we got the 40 points right there. Quick and easy 40. Let's move on to the final match of this video. Alright, here we go, the last and final match of this video, and my man's is using Super Saiyan 4 Goku, so basically we did see three different versions of Goku in, in, in these three matches, which is kind of surprising, mainly I've been running into a lot of Blue Kus like myself, but I'm under, I'm assuming that those are more the people who are actually trying to get a top five, as opposed, can I not vanish? As opposed to just having fun, oh, my guy, the, 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 damn, this was a quick one, this was a quick one, my boys, come here, come here, we just need enough key for the double Super Kamehameha, we might not even need two Kamehamehas, to be honest, let's see. Eat that one. Eh, I'm not even going to be able to get a hit off with the next one. Oh, wow. I missed that. He, really? What a bitch. Bro, you have zero. He had zero QP. What are you quitting for? You literally had nothing. You had nothing to lose. Are you that much of a bitch? This is the only, this is, I would say, the only issue that I, I, I would have with this tournament right now. I mean, besides that, I've had a lot of fun on it. Not going to lie. Um, let's go check check where I'm at in terms of the rankings. But again, that's probably the only thing that I've ran into as an issue. I've had like three rage quits up until this point in time, which does kind of suck considering one of the dudes had over a thousand QP. That would have been like a good two to three hundred or something like that. But either way, man, right now at this point in time, after recording and doing all that stuff, I did probably lose some spots in the ranking. Let's see where we're at. We're actually at 42, so we didn't lose too much spot. Um, I was at 35, like when I started recording this video over an hour ago, because I did mess up a couple takes and things like that. But still, not too bad at 42. I do think it's possible to get into that top five. I just really gotta play a lot, to be honest. Right now, I'm about 1,000, 1,100 points behind the top five spot, and I've actually played this dude Andrew Pitcher twice. Shout out to him because he did message me saying GG things like that. I'm sure he's a fan of the channel. So again, shout out to him. I did play him twice, and I did get some good QP off him at the same time but either way man i do think i can get into this top five and i do think i can get that dragon ball super title like i said it's just really going to come down to how much i actually play and how much time i put into this tournament because it does end on the 11th i believe i don't know at one what what, what 11 does that mean like uh it started at one o'clock actually so yeah it probably ends at 1 a.m on the 11th so i do have some time i'm probably going to try and put the grind in and go again for that top five but let me know you guys thoughts on the matches down below in the comments and of course your thoughts on what the main purpose of this video was talking about dlc 15 potentially being that last one before we see the hopeful i mean hopefully see i should say xenoverse 3 but as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed until next time hope you have a good one peace y'all